Hello. We're back with another, well, preview for something I'm going to inform you. Uh, first of all, hello TLDR. I switched to the Horde, uh, I'm going to say, just before the Nazoth patch of BFA. So I've been on Horde for a little while, um, and all my characters are going to be recreated over on the Horde to be used and previewed for Shadowlands, and hopefully anything further after that, depending on how things go. But currently, I'm going to give you a preview of what has come to, well, my favorite and probably my most loved spec in class, Unholy DK. So, I want to go over the cons, and the pros, and then my final opinion. Well, not in that order. It's going to be pros, cons, final opinion. So, the pros of Unholy is, at last, Gorgoyle is on our baseline abilities. It is great. I love it. It is not going to go there anymore, hopefully. I said at the start of BFA that the entire point of Gargoyle being the talent tree was useless. It would have never survived as a talent. Arbiter only lasted as a talent because of the DK shoulders. And once those were both gone, Gargoyle was on the talent tree to fend for itself, and unfortunately it didn't survive the BFA talent redesign. Uh, in his place, we have another talent called Unholy Pact, which is really good. I'm really happy that they did this. I'm really great. It's I loved this Azerite trait. It was really fun to play with. I'm happy to see it return in Shadowlands with a bonus. So, we have Gargoyle back. It's really fun. Happy. Other pro, our mastery was redesigned to not only increase shadow damage dealt, but increase our minions damage as well. A well-deserved change, I think. Uh, only having the DK do most of his damage as a pet class kind of didn't make sense. And now that we have minion damage increase as well, our minions will be doing a lot of damage. And I'm happy to say that hopefully in uh, BFA, or Shadowlands I should say, that we will be where we should be at the top of the DPS DK charts. Because we are the superior spec. That's biased, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, another pro that was added recently that I loved. Death Coil can now be healed with your ghoul. You can now heal your ghoul with Death Coil again. That was such a good thing to have. I loved that mechanic. It n took away the, necess the necessity to have Epidemic as a, as a just a dump when you couldn't do anything else. Because if you're doing a mechanic, let's say you're on Temporal Setherless and you're doing the Snake Boss and he goes underground, and you have a lot of runic power to spend, I would dump it on Epidemic, just to get the procs, just to get the reset, just to get the um, runic power out of my system. Now I don't need to do that anymore, and that's pretty nice. So having that ability is great. Uh, also, again, we have Lich Born, which means we become undead, which means we can also heal ourselves with Death Coil as well, so even if we have the Doom mechanic where our ghoul dies and we have to heal ourselves, we can still dump the runic power into ourselves just to maintain our vigor. Which is great. I love it. Another thing we added was Anti-Magic Zone is now a baseline ability. No longer a PvP talent. And it's so good to have it back. I, I loved being a utility class as much as anyone. I love the fact that I could stun people, pull them, choke them, interrupt them, immune to stuns, immune to magic. It was great. With this and the macro I'm going to show is a perfect example of a good way to use macros. Just up. If, you're, if you need to huddle for mechanics, it's going to be a lot of magic damage, pop it. I don't think it stacks, so that's the only problem, which is okay. But that means we can instantly get that magic damage out. We can instantly get some of the damage mitigated. It's a, such a good raid utility. And Mythic Plus utility as well. Um, and that's some of the gooder pros, I think, of Unholy. That is relatively great. And one more thing. This is not really a pro or a con. It's just something to say. The first big talent you get in Shadowlands of 52 is the Arbiter talent, so <laughs> that's still baseline, that has been made baseline in Shadowlands, and it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I'm hyped, I'm excited, I'm going to be doing a lot of things of Unholy in Shadowlands, and I'm going to 
basically play a lot of it. Now, unfortunately, with that said, I can't go over Unholy without saying the cons. There's some cons to Unholy in the next expansion that I hate. Bursting Source is now capped at 8 people. Our AoE has been nerfed with a global AoE cap. Even with Epidemic's, like, infinite AoE possibilities, it's still an AoE cap. And it sucks. And it's going to be very hard to do anything. But it's still going to be fun to play. Another con. Yes, Wraithwalk is still a bloody talent. I don't understand the premise of any thought process to keep this a talent. It would have made sense if it was a talent that replaced Death's Advance. But Death's Advance has, like, a passive effect that makes it better than its active effect. There's a reason for it. But Wraithwalk being a talent is still not good. I still don't like it. I use it a lot in Legion and BFA just stabbed it in the heart and Shadowlands unfortunately is making sure to finish it off. R.I.P. Wraithwalk. Another massive con that I think that's going to trick a lot of people into thinking it's a pro and personal opinion is Sacrificial Pack. It's a thing that kills your ghoul to heal you. It does literally no damage on the PTR. I don't know about scaling Shadowlands, but it doesn't do that much. And it only heals you 20, and it heals you 25% of your max health. I mean, that's a good sacrifice for a ghoul. But at the same time, there's a lot of other ways you could do it yourself. You could, you know, just Lichborn and Death Coil yourself. That also reduces the cooldown of Dark Transformation. Or better yet, you could just spend Runic Power to get healed from Death Strike. Which is arguably kind of better because the minimum is 10%. So it's only 15% more. But it, it can maximally heal you a good chunk of your HP. And does kind of more damage. 361 compared to what? Oh no, it does. Never mind. But still, it's something that's spammable and it's already on your bar to begin with. Plus, it uses the same icon as Corpse Exploder. Which at the same time kind of makes me think, I'm going to press it, what my mistake? It's fine. And to top things off, the other sad thing about DK is the fact that to this date, we still do not have the ability to tame our own ghouls. However, Blizzard gave it to Hunters, and I'm actually writhing in pain because of it. We'll get to that later in my, my Hunter review. Anyway... I was going to say that I'm going to be reviewing all the classes I plan on playing in Shadowlands, uh, which is quite a few to be fair. Uh, I'm looking at a lot of classes that I was really loving in other expansions that I go through, and classes in, you know, other expansions that I've never played that I kind of like to see. Uh, it it's looks really fun. Um, but Unholy still is going to be my main spec, my main class. I'm going to main it the entirety of it. Every new patch in Shadowlands, my DK is going to be the first one geared as fast as possible. Uh, as for Covenant choice, I'm still going to go with Necrolords. I, I, I know people probably think that Necrolords are a little strange, but I like Necrolords. I think the fact that we have a um, a dungeon called Theater of the Damned is pretty cool. <laughs> Theater of Pain. I think it's Theater of Pain. Uh, it looks pretty good, and I'm not going to lie, but I low-key like Draka and, you know, Alexander Mulgrain. <laughs> That's great. Um... But I'm going to enjoy that, and I'm going to enjoy Unholy more on the PTR, because the PTR is up. If anyone wants to join on and, you know, play, I'm currently on Brock Cigar at the moment on the PTR. But other than that, have a good day, and uh, enjoy your game.